and chat, I have received word that we are all ready for Bishojo Senshi Sailor Moon R with Norishigi 710. Take it away. All right. Okay, so today we're going to be speedrunning Bisojo Senshi Sailor Moon R. But it seems like Norishige san's not there. I kept. Wait! <laughs> there he is. Perfect. So today, uh, I guess we're going to be doing Chippy from, from the looks of it. We sure are. Perfect. So uh, we're going to be doing a Chibi normal run. Chibi normal. And I'll be I'll be your commentator today. My name is Octopillion. And Norishige san is going to be our runner for today. And we'll start the countdown once he's ready. So three, two, two, one. Well. Sojo Sensei Sailor Moon R is actually the second game in the series. It is a beat em up, and we unfortunately, you guys picked the worst character in the game. Uh, Chibi is probably one of the weakest characters uh, that you can pick from. Uh, she's a little bit faster due to the loading screen, uh, it skips about 10 seconds, but you lose it completely through her being very weak. Um, <clears throat> here, uh, it's just going to be a regular beat-em-up like any other. Uh, so we'll have uh, waves of enemies and we'll just have to clear them as we progress. Um, the way the game works is there is uh, a max of two to four characters depending on the screen you are. So until you beat them up, uh, or you kill one, the other mons uh, enemies won't spawn. <clears throat> Just like you can see right here. Uh, we'll have a few healing items that we'll use. Uh, we'll actually do some manips to make sure that some of the healing items we get turn into power-ups. Uh, so we'll be able to do our special, probably. <clears throat> and go from there here we go so this is gonna be the end of the act one uh, stage two in a few seconds here you'll see he'll pick up a item that's going to full heal him there's a few of those i'll go through them as we find them out through the game all right so you can go, go over just while we're we're waiting here, I'll go over some of the other characters that we could have picked from, uh, like in most Sailor Moon games. Mercury is your worst character. It's unfortunate for everybody that loves Mercury, but she's uh, the weakest in like 90% of all the games. Um, Mars, a close second for that as well. Uh, so for the easy and uh, normal run, you want to use Jupiter. She's usually the strongest in most games. Uh, she's the one you want to use uh, in easy mode because uh, she one shots everybody pretty much. Uh, while Venus just has some extended range. Um, so Moon is right in the middle she's pretty average uh, so we tend to not use her ever even in co-op she's pretty bad uh, <clears throat> so your top two picks will be jupiter and venus venus is what you'll use in hard mode <clears throat> we weren't able to show it off <laughs> but there's a infinite loop attack which is <clears throat> sorry why venus is good in hard mode uh, Chibi kind of has that, uh, I guess, unlimited combo attack, if you will. 
as well, but uh, it's not used as much in normal. We may see it a few times here. And there's Emerald. And there's the uh, <laughs> infinite uh, combo attack right there. No. So just, a, just a little bit of cheese. Alright, and with that, that is the first boss defeated. Tuxedo <laughs> cut. So there's a few uh, <clears throat> cutscenes like you see here. It actually calculates your points in the game. You don't see it until the end of the, the first, well, every stage, sorry, has it. You won't see them. Uh, they do play part in you getting extra life, but <clears throat> we never really count that since we play with unlimited continues most of the times. <clears throat> so in stage two, we're in a nice jungle. And on the second part of stage two, you'll see uh, probably one of the favorite places and fastest stages for normal and hard mode, but it's actually the worst if you're playing easy. It's where you lose 90% of all your runs. <laughs> orange here. I'm not sure if he's gonna just go past it or not. No, he grabbed it. So as you can see, the orange barely healed him. So he's gonna take an intentional death in a few minutes. A few seconds, I mean. As you can see, the spinning attack that he does, as, which we call the Mega Crush attack, uh, that's your strongest attack, but you trade it at the cost of some HP. So, in easy mode, uh, it's a one-shot kill if you're Jupiter, which is why we pre prefer her. In normal, uh, it depends on the enemy. But Chibi's damage is quite a bit lower than Jupiter's, so... In easy mode, she's not the uh, she's not that great. You actually have to still attack most of the enemies before you can do your spin. So I don't know if some of you saw it, but there's a nice little item at the bottom of the screen there on the right. That is an extra life. It's not going to come that. And he's just there for uh, for fun, really. <laughs> so here's the uh, the fun part on normal difficulty. You just chuck them in the water. It's insta kill. You'll have sometimes where. Um, you can get them to just walk into the water themselves and kill themselves. It happens every now and then. It's very convenient uh, when you're playing blindfolded. But uh, this is where you save most of your time during the uh, normal and hard mode. <laughs> so the reason it's uh, where you reset your runs in easy mode as you can see here uh, the boat stopped uh, while there's still enemies on it uh, if you're not able to clear them fast enough uh, you just start losing a ton of time and here we have a, a small little glitch here where we have them spawn all at the same location Two of those enemies that he chucked into the pool there were supposed to spawn right at the back, which can stop the boat from moving. <laughs> Alright, so we're kind of coming up to 
the end of the stage here. We're gonna be up against Sapphire. Our second bus. So for this one, I think he's just gonna do, yeah. So he's just gonna double tap and then spin, which keeps him stunned and then just wins. Is stage two cleared. So for those who are interested in picking up the game, uh, <laughs> Noshige-san <laughs> actually created two uh, different guides. They're all translated in English and uh, they're very in-depth. So we go from uh, the max amount of spins you can do per characters, the damage they do, how much HP it takes, and uh, <laughs> how to do the item manips. So here on the stage, we're going to see a ton more enemies. Most of the screens we'll start seeing four. Uh, these ones tend to be a pain when you're playing with a regular character, but with Chibi, because she's so small, uh, a lot of the attacks just don't hit her. Um, you can just stay right up against the enemy and they'll punch it, and the, they won't hit her because her hitbox is so small. <clears throat> it, it's one of the advantages of playing Chibi, but <laughs> she, she's not worth the time loss, to be honest. The uh, time difference between Chibi and uh, Jupiter is, I think, three to four minutes on a uh, 13 minute run, 13 to 15 minute run, it's pretty big. For, for those uh, keeping count of the, uh, the spins, you'll, uh, you'll see quite a lot more. If this was uh, hard mode, we'd be using quite quite a lot less, uh, just due to its ineffectiveness. The enemies have almost twice the HP that they do in uh, in normal. So you just want to bunch them up, stun lock them with the infinite loop, and then skin once they're at, uh, at low enough health, just to, to finish them all off in one shot. But uh, here, uh, you can still do close to half their HP in one shot, so it's, it's used quite a bit. And then uh, you, you can see uh, a chibi crying there, asking for uh, her mom when she dies. <laughs> Alright, stage three, one, done. So here's where we'll see uh, probably the worst enemies in the game, the slime ladies, as, as we call them. Um, the, the reason they're a pain in the butt is uh, they, uh, they can stun you. So they'll pull up and grab. The red ones aren't too bad, but you'll see another variant later on. They just grab you and there's nothing you can do about it. There you go. We'll see uh, an item nip coming up real soon too. So the way the item nips work, depending on your remaining HP, uh, you can force spawn uh, an item. So right here, uh, he's probably going to take an intentional death. Yep. And then he's going to lower his HP to just right about where his the ribbon is. And we're going to be force spawning another ribbon so that he can use another special. So that, that black crystal there has the item. Some more. 
forest lines. I should finish them off. Grab the item, and we're off. It's gonna be able to grab a second one right here. This one of the longer stages, uh, stage three and four, they just send you tons of enemies. Uh, if you look at one and two and you compare them, I think just stage three on its own has as many enemies as stage one and two combined. You'll start seeing quite a lot more up here as well. But uh, stage four is actually not too bad with Chibi, due to most of them having uh, high attacks. So uh, Chibi just dodges them. There you go. And there should be a few more here, and then we'll be up against the third boss, which is Ruby. Uh, Nori and I like uh, doing is uh, we added a blindfolded category to the game uh, which uh, both of us uh, require a bucket on our head it's, uh, it's mandatory it's, it's just how it goes um, and uh, that's just for easy percent uh, Nori does want to start trying to do uh, a normal mode version of the blindfolded run, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the easy mode version is quite easy to do just because uh, Jupiter's uh, spin pretty much one shots everything. So as long as you memorize the patterns, you're pretty, pretty good. That's the third boss down. Tuxedo cut. actually tried testing to see what affects your grade and uh, I wasn't really able to uh, figure out what actually influences it. Uh, I've, I've tried uh, doing no hits and I still got like C's and stuff. It's not related to the time either. It's, it's pretty weird. Uh, again, doesn't really affect anything, but it'd be cool to have S, S ranks instead of uh, C's and B's. So here's the first stage, uh, sorry, first part of the last stage. This one's quite long. <clears throat> You'll see a ton of these uh, green enemies and the, uh, the rolling guys. But again, we have Chibi's uh, unique uh, size that makes it easy for her to dodge uh, most of the attacks. Right. So I think we should have uh, quite a few more screens of this. go back to the blindfold runs I'm pretty sure that's the category that we get the most uh, interaction with people with it's just one of the funner runs if you will um, it's just uh, me, me and Nori pretty much with the buckets uh, we've got it down from uh, I think we were averaging about 10 minutes we're down to about a minute or two off of world record for 
without a blindfold, which is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, if we can get, uh, uh, if you go on Norishi Gates channel, he has an incentive right now for uh, uh, the normal run uh, blindfolded, which should be pretty sweet. It's gonna be a very long run though. We have to, we should have time for donations if you want. There's gonna be a, a ton more of these screens. Oh, awesome! We have quite a bit of them. Thank you. I have a hundred dollars from Skuz that says, "In the name of the future moon, Sailor Chibi Moon will punish cancer." Well, Chibi is so well, anyways. Chibi hype. Heart emoji. Thank you so much for the donation. I also have a one hundred dollar donation from Sailor Niz. I have been looking forward to this run all week. Thanks to everyone making this week so incredible. Now, in the name of the moon, let's kick Cancer's butt. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Nice. Oh, you, you have time for another one. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I have a $100 donation from Malcolm. Chibi Usan must defeat evil with an umbrella and a toy ball. Thank you so much for your donation, and you're totally fine. Perfect. All right, that's going to be uh, the last donation. We're right at the last boss right here. And time is going to be once Chibi uh, does her victory pose. Should be coming down from this perch right there. And then we're just going to uh, stun lock him. And we should have a few specials. But yeah. Finally, tuxedo, no cut. <laughs> Thanks. So that was Bisojo Senshi Salomon R. Uh, we have a nice active Discord if you guys are ever interested in the run. It's really easy to get into. <clears throat> and uh, the, the, the few people that do play it are fairly friendly. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you everybody at AGDQ. Uh, it was great. It was fun to be here. Norishige oh, cool. <laughs> is very happy to be here as well too. Uh, for, for those who didn't catch up on that, Norishige-san is Japanese and I'm just here to interpret for him. Hi, I'm Japanese speedrunner Norishige. It was great honor to play play at GDQ. I'd like to thank the GDQ staff and the viewers Octopion and Listream for commentator wise join me as commentator. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thanks. <laughs> so much that run was fantastic twitch chat how are you all doing i hope you're doing well still we are only fifty nine thousand dollars away from two million dollars twitch chat can we do it i think we can do it quickly i think we can do it i'm so excited we're almost there this is amazing I have a $250 donation from Apple Mac, nearly 2 million. This should help. Thank you so much. Every single dollar helps. You all are fantastic. Thank you so much. I have a $200 donation from Crow of Murder 15. Good morning, everyone. This is the first year I've been able to watch with my loving fiance in person. It's been an amazing week of speedruns, so let's finish the week off strong. This donation is going towards unlocking Delta Rune. Let's hit that 2 million mark and go beyond. Game on.
Thank you so much. We're so close. And of course, we still have some amazing incentives coming up. We have The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, bonus any percent run. It is at 18887 out of $75,000. I believe we can get that run in. You know, chat, more runs equals more GDQ. We don't want it to stop. It doesn't have to. We can keep going. We also have bonus game seven, Delta Rune, at 13145 out of 500000 More GDQ chat. I believe we can do it. Let's get those runs in. Kalchan Ferret donates $250 and says, another year, another new AGDQ. Even though these last few years have been less than ideal for everyone, we still have an awesome TM speedrunning marathon to look forward to. Here's to more amazing and hilarious runs and more support to such great charities. Put all of this $250 towards unlocking Deltarune. You got it. Thank you so, so much. Burning Glaceon donates $25 and says, yo, Earthbound prizes? Count me in. I've lost count of my donation total at this point. <laughs> Keep being awesome, everyone. Let's make this a weekend to remember. There are still some oh, fantastic prizes up there. If you want to go ahead to gamesdonequick.com, you can take a look at all of those. Anonymous donates $250 and says, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Good morning. How are you? Thank you so much for your donation. Carthar donates $40. Hey, runner from the Blazing Chrome run here. I believe there were eight deaths in my previous run, so here's my promised $5 per death. Let's finish strong on this last day of AGDQ. Keep it up, everyone. Oh, thank you so much. That was such a good run. Thank you for running it. Squeeze donates $40. Had to donate even more just to thank Tuxedo Norishigi for his delightful presentation in the Sailor Moon R run. That little Luna pee ball melts my heart. As one Mooney to another, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your donation. Sammy6345 donates $25. They say, Delta Rune, yes, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. We are well on our way to all of our incentives. Chat, I do believe we can do this. Big Al donates $250. Thanks for this awesome event, everyone. Greetings from the Netherlands, Big Al. Thank you so much, Big Al. Anonymous donates $250. There is no comment, but Anonymous, thank you so much. Every dollar means so much for this amazing charity. You all are so fantastic. I also have a $250 donation from Frost DMB with no comment, but again, thank you so, so much. And $250 from Michelle S, no comment. You all are so generous and so kind. Thank you so much. I have a $25 donation from The Wanderer. I'm always pleased when this time of year rolls around, hanging out with my fellow stream viewers, enjoying the awesome runs performed by the runners. Thanks, as always, to the staff, commentators, runners, and everyone else involved in making these events possible. Thank you so much, The Wanderer. I really appreciate it. And, and honestly, thank you, everyone who's watching, donating. You all are the reason we can do so much for these chari this charity. And it's just... It melts my heart. You all are so amazing. Thank you so, so much. I mean, gosh, we're so, we're, I'm, <laughs> I 
We're only $58,451 away from $2 million. That's such an amazing number. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I really, you all are just fantastic. Thank you so much. Zen donates $250 and says, two million hype. Let's go chat. Let's go chat indeed. And we have a donation regarding that incentive. I have a $25 donation from Manahale. A Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda title. Would love to see it. Thank you everyone at GDQ and all runners for raising funds and awareness for preventing cancer. Thank you very much for your donation. Jason donates $25 and says, Late night GDQ with my beautiful fiance Carrie and my good boy Sterling is the best. Thank you so much. Covert Ronan donates $25 and says, PCF is an organization that means the world to me. Just last year, my father, mother, and one of my aunts were all diagnosed with various forms of cancer. However, thanks to early detection, all were able to be treated and now are in remission. The mission that PCF undertakes is so important, and I cannot express how thankful I am every year for AGDQ and the support everyone gives to the organization. From the runners, to the tech staff, to the announcers, to the donators, to the viewers, to the staff of PCF, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Covert Ronan. Cursed Goat donates $50 and says, Long time watcher, first time donating. Games Done Quick has always been near and dear to my heart. I'm always inspired watching so many awesome people come together from around the globe for an amazing cause. It truly makes me feel like together, we can do anything. Gamers Unite. I'm so happy I can finally donate and I feel proud to be a small part of something truly amazing. Much love to the runners, commentators, interviewers, and interviewees. Also love to the tech crew, donations team, donators, and everyone else who deserves recognition for making the world a better, more hopeful place through this event. Thank you, AGDQ, for all you do. P.S. Chat and everyone else, you're looking extra, extra cute today. <laughs> Thank you so much for your donation. That was incredibly sweet. And you're not a small part. You're a, everyone who's watching and donating. You're a, such an amazingly large part in this. And I know I've said it a couple of times, but 